Entropy in quantum mechanics is a fascinating and complex topic. It extends the classical concept of entropy into the quantum realm, where it plays a crucial role in understanding the behavior of quantum systems. At its core, entropy is a measure of uncertainty or randomness in a system. In classical thermodynamics, entropy quantifies the number of ways a system can be arranged, often referred to as the number of microstates consistent with the macroscopic state. However, in quantum mechanics, the concept of entropy is more nuanced due to the probabilistic nature of quantum states. Von Neumann Entropy The quantum counterpart of classical entropy is the von Neumann entropy. It is defined for a quantum system described by a density matrix rho, and is given by the formula, S rho equals TR ln. Here, TR denotes the trace operation, and ln is the matrix logarithm of the density matrix. If the density matrix rho is expressed in terms of its eigenvectors i with eigenvalues pi, the von Neumann entropy simplifies to S rho equals i sigma pil p. This form resembles the Shannon entropy from information theory, which measures the information content or uncertainty in a probability distribution 1. Properties of quantum entropy Quantum entropy has several important properties. Subadditivity, the entropy of a combined system is less than or equal to the sum of the entropies of its parts. This reflects the fact that quantum systems can exhibit correlations that reduce the overall uncertainty. Strong subadditivity, this property states that for any tripartite system, the entropy of the whole system plus one of the subsystems is less than or equal to the sum of the entropies of the two other subsystems and the whole system. It's a fundamental property in quantum information theory too. Entanglement entropy, when a system is entangled, its von Neumann entropy can be used to quantify the degree of entanglement. In particular, if a system is in a pure state, the entropy of its subsystems can be non-zero, indicating entanglement. Quantum entropy and measurement. In quantum mechanics, measurement plays a key role in determining the state of a system. The act of measurement can reduce the entropy of a system because it reduces uncertainty about the system's state. This is related to the concept of wave function collapse, where a superposition of states collapses to a single state upon measurement. Quantum entropy and thermodynamics. Quantum entropy also has thermodynamic implications. It's related to the amount of energy in a quantum system that can be converted into work during a thermodynamic process. This ties back to the fundamental principles of thermodynamics but applied to quantum systems 3, entropy and the uncertainty principle. The entropy in quantum mechanics is also influenced by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which imposes a fundamental limit on the precision with which certain pairs of physical properties, such as position and momentum, can be known simultaneously. This principle implies that there is a minimum positive entropy associated with any quantum state 4. In summary, entropy in quantum mechanics provides a deep insight into the nature of quantum states, their correlations, and the information they contain. It bridges the gap between quantum theory and thermodynamics, and it's a key concept in the field of quantum information theory. Understanding entropy in quantum mechanics requires a solid grasp of linear algebra, probability, and the foundational principles of quantum theory. Certainly, entanglement entropy is a key concept in quantum mechanics, particularly in the study of quantum entanglement. It provides a quantitative measure of the degree of entanglement between parts of a quantum system. Understanding entanglement entropy. In a quantum system, particles can become entangled, meaning the state of one particle cannot be described independently of the state of another. This is a fundamental aspect of quantum physics that differs significantly from classical physics. When we talk about entanglement entropy, we're often referring to a bipartite system, which is a system divided into two parts, A and B. If the overall system is in a pure state, we can describe it with a wave function. However, if we only look at one part of the system, say part A, we lose some information about the overall state because part A is entangled with part B. This loss of information is quantified by the entanglement entropy. Von Neumann Entanglement Entropy The most common measure of entanglement entropy is the von Neumann Entanglement Entropy. For a bipartite system in a pure state, the entanglement entropy of one part, A or B, is defined as the von Neumann entropy of its reduced density matrix. The reduced density matrix is obtained by taking the partial trace over the other part of the system. Mathematically, if A is the reduced density matrix of part A, the entanglement entropy SA is given by SA equals TR ALNA. This formula is similar to the von Neumann entropy formula for the entire system, but it applies to the reduced density matrix of a subsystem. 
Properties of entanglement entropy non-zero for entangled systems. If the entanglement entropy is non-zero, it indicates that the subsystem is in a mixed state due to entanglement with the other subsystem. Zero for separable states. If the system state is separable, not entangled, then the reduced density matrix represents a pure state, and the entanglement entropy is zero. Symmetry. The entanglement entropy is the same regardless of whether you calculate it for part A or part B. Physical interpretation. The physical interpretation of entanglement entropy is that it measures how much information is hidden due to entanglement. In a fully entangled pure state, knowing the state of part A gives you complete information about part B, and vice versa. The entanglement entropy quantifies the extent to which this is true. Entanglement entropy in quantum information. In quantum information theory, entanglement entropy is important because it relates to the information content of quantum states. It's used to understand the transmission of information in quantum systems and plays a role in quantum computing and quantum cryptography. Entanglement entropy is a profound concept that reflects the non-local correlations unique to quantum mechanics. It's a fascinating area of study that bridges quantum physics, information theory, and thermodynamics. Entanglement entropy is deeply connected to the holographic principle, which is a principle of string theories and a supposed property of quantum gravity that describes how information contained within a volume of space can be represented by a theory that exists on the boundary of that space. The holographic principle. The holographic principle suggests that the universe can be seen as a two-dimensional information structure painted on the cosmological horizon, such that the three dimensions we observe are only an effective description at macroscopic scales and at low energies. Essentially, it implies that all the information within a volume of space can be represented as encoded on a boundary to the region, preferably a light-like boundary like a gravitational horizon. Entanglement entropy and holography. In the context of the holographic principle, entanglement entropy is particularly interesting because it provides a way to understand the emergence of space-time geometry from the entanglement of quantum fields. According to the ADS forward slash CFT correspondence, a realization of the holographic principle, the entanglement entropy of a region in a conformal field theory, CFT, is related to the area of a minimal surface in the bulk antida sitter, ADS, space. The most famous formula that relates entanglement entropy with the holographic principle is the Ryute Kayanagi formula, which states that the entanglement entropy of a region in the boundary CFT is proportional to the area of the minimal surface in the ad space that is anchored to the boundary of the region. Sentanglement equals 4GN area, A. Here, A is the minimal surface in the ad space that corresponds to the boundary region A, and GN is the Newtonian constant of gravitation. This formula shows a direct link between quantum entanglement and space-time geometry 12. Implications This relationship has profound implications for our understanding of space, time, and gravity. It suggests that the fabric of space-time itself may be a result of the entangled quantum states and that gravity may emerge from the entanglement structure of these states. This is a radical shift from the traditional view where gravity is a fundamental force. The study of entanglement entropy in the context of the holographic principle is an active area of research in theoretical physics. It bridges the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, providing insights into quantum gravity, black hole thermodynamics, and the nature of spacetime itself. 12. For those interested in delving deeper into this topic, there are comprehensive reviews and articles that explore entanglement entropy from the mixed viewpoint of field theory and holography, as well as its roles in quantum field theory, including the connections between quantum states and gravitation. Entanglement entropy is closely related to black hole thermodynamics, offering a potential explanation for the microscopic origin of black hole entropy, which is a fundamental aspect of black hole thermodynamics. Black hole thermodynamics. Black hole thermodynamics is a field of study that applies the laws of thermodynamics to black holes. The most notable feature is the Bekenstein-Hawking entropy, which states that the entropy of a black hole is proportional to the area of its event horizon. This entropy area relationship is often referred to as the area law. Entanglement entropy and black holes. The connection between entanglement entropy and black hole thermodynamics arises from the observation that the entanglement entropy for certain quantum fields in a region of space can also follow an area law. Specifically, the entanglement entropy of the degrees of freedom of a quantum field that are inside and outside the event horizon of a black hole can contribute to the total entropy of the black hole. Theoretical Insights Theoretical studies suggest that the quantum entanglement between the degrees of freedom of a scalar field, traced inside the event horizon, can be the origin of black hole entropy 1. 
This is because the area law for entanglement entropy holds true under certain conditions, such as when the scalar field is in its ground state or in other minimum uncertainty states like coherent or squeezed states 1. Excited states and correct ions to the area law. When the field is in an excited state or in a superposition of ground and excited states, correct ions to the area law appear. These correct ions decrease with increasing area, indicating that the area law is recovered for black holes with large enough horizon areas 1. The contributions to the entanglement entropy from degrees of freedom far from the horizon are more significant for excited or superposed states than for the ground state 1. Implications for quantum gravity The relationship between entanglement entropy and black hole thermodynamics is significant for our understanding of quantum gravity. It suggests that the microscopic degrees of freedom responsible for black hole entropy could be the entangled quantum states across the event horizon. This perspective aligns with the idea that space-time geometry and gravity may emerge from the entanglement structure of quantum fields. Current research. Current research continues to explore this relationship, particularly in the context of theories like loop quantum gravity and string theory, which attempt to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. The entanglement entropy's role in black hole thermodynamics is a key area of investigation in the quest to understand the quantum nature of black holes and the fundamental structure of space-time one. In summary, entanglement entropy provides a promising avenue for explaining the microscopic origins of black hole entropy and offers deep insights into the nature of quantum fields, space-time, and gravity. The firewall paradox is a theoretical puzzle in the field of black hole physics that challenges our understanding of quantum mechanics and general relativity. It arises from a conflict between three fundamental principles, the equivalent principle from general relativity, the unitarity of quantum mechanics, and the monogamy of entanglement, a quantum mechanical property that states a particle cannot be fully entangled with two independent systems at the same time. Here's a detailed explanation of the paradox. The paradox. According to quantum field theory in curved spacetime, when a pair of entangled particles is created near the event horizon of a black hole, one particle falls into the black hole while the other escapes as Hawking radiation. Over time, as the black hole continues to emit Hawking radiation, it loses mass and eventually could evaporate completely. This radiation is believed to carry information about the black hole's interior due to the entanglement between the infalling and outgoing particles. However, a problem arises when considering an old black hole that has emitted more than half of its information as Hawking radiation. The newly emitted radiation must be entangled with the earlier radiation to preserve unitarity, but it must also be entangled with the infalling partner particle. This violates the monogamy of entanglement because the outgoing particle cannot be fully entangled with both the infalling particle and the past Hawking radiation. The firewall resolution. To resolve this paradox, some physicists propose that the entanglement between the infalling and outgoing particles must break at the event horizon, creating a high-energy zone known as a firewall. This firewall would release a large amount of energy, incinerating anything falling into the black hole and contradicting the equivalent principle, which suggests that an observer should not experience anything out of the ordinary when crossing the event horizon of a large black hole. Implications and Controversies The firewall paradox has sparked significant debate and has led to various proposed solutions, each with its own implications for the nature of reality. Some suggest that the paradox could be resolved by giving up on one of the three principles mentioned earlier, while others believe that a theory of quantum gravity might provide a resolution without having to sacrifice any of these principles. 12. The firewall paradox remains one of the most intriguing puzzles at the intersection of quantum mechanics and general relativity, and it continues to drive research in theoretical physics, as scientists seek a deeper understanding of the fundamental workings of the universe. The information loss problem, also known as the black hole information paradox, is a fundamental issue at the intersection of quantum mechanics and general relativity. It revolves around the question of whether information about the physical state of matter falling into a black hole is permanently lost to the universe, which would violate a core principle of quantum mechanics, that information is conserved. The paradox. The paradox was first articulated by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s when he discovered that black holes emit radiation due to quantum effects near their event horizons, now known as Hawking radiation. According to his calculations, this radiation appears to be thermal and does not carry any information about the matter that formed the black hole or that subsequently fell into it one. If a black hole evaporates completely through Hawking radiation, the information about the initial state of the matter that collapsed to form the black hole seems to be lost. 
This is problematic because, in quantum mechanics, the evolution of a system is described by a wave function, which evolves in a unitary fashion, meaning that the information about the initial state should always be enough to determine the system's state at any other time 1. Recent developments. Recent theoretical progress suggests that information may not be lost in black holes after all. Physicists have proposed various mechanisms by which information could be preserved, including subtle correlations in Hawking radiation that were previously overlooked. These correlations could encode the information about the initial state, allowing it to be recovered in principle 23. One significant development is the discovery of the Page curve, named after Don Page. It describes how the von Neumann entropy of the Hawking radiation should increase and then decrease back to zero as a black hole evaporates, indicating that information is not lost but rather emitted with the radiation one. Implications for quantum gravity The resolution of the information loss problem is crucial for the development of a consistent theory of quantum gravity. It has implications for our understanding of the fundamental nature of spacetime and the ultimate fate of information in our universe. The ongoing research and debate over this paradox continue to drive advancements in theoretical physics, with the hope of finding a unified framework that reconciles quantum mechanics and general relativity 21. In summary, the information loss problem relates to black holes in that it challenges our understanding of how information behaves in extreme gravitational environments and tests the limits of our current physical theories. The concept of entropy in quantum mechanics, specifically the von Neumann entropy, was introduced by the renowned mathematician and physicist John von Neumann. He extended the classical concept of Gibbs entropy from classical statistical mechanics to the quantum domain 1. John von Neumann's Contribution John von Neumann made significant contributions to the mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics. In his 1932 work, Mathematical Foundations of Quantum Mechanics, he established a rigorous mathematical framework for the theory. Within this framework, he introduced the concept of the density matrix, which is a generalization of the state vector that describes a quantum system. The density matrix formalism allowed for the description of mixed states, which are essential for understanding quantum statistical mechanics and the theory of quantum measurement 1. Von Neumann's introduction of the density matrix naturally led to the definition of the von Neumann entropy. The von Neumann entropy is defined for a quantum system described by a density matrix ρ and is given by the formula. S ρ equals TR ln. If the density matrix ρ is expressed in terms of its eigenvectors i with eigenvalues π, the von Neumann entropy simplifies to S ρ equals i sigma pil p. This formulation of entropy in quantum mechanics is analogous to the Shannon entropy in information theory, which measures the information content or uncertainty in a probability distribution too. The significance of von Neumann entropy. The von Neumann entropy has become a cornerstone in the field of quantum information theory. It quantifies the amount of uncertainty or randomness in a quantum system and is used to measure the degree of entanglement in quantum states. It also plays a crucial role in various theorems of quantum information theory and has implications for quantum computing and quantum cryptography too. John von Neumann's work laid the groundwork for many of the advancements in quantum theory and information science. His introduction of entropy into quantum mechanics has provided deep insights into the nature of quantum states and their correlations, bridging the gap between quantum mechanics and thermodynamics. The concept of mixed states is intimately related to density matrices in quantum mechanics. To understand this relationship, let's first define what we mean by mixed states and then explore how they are represented by density matrices. Mixed states. In quantum mechanics, a pure state is a state that can be described by a single wave function. It represents a quantum system that is in a definite, fully known quantum state. However, in many practical situations, we don't have complete information about the system, or the system is a part of a larger entangled system. In such cases, we use the concept of mixed states. A mixed state represents a statistical ensemble of several different possible pure states, each occurring with a certain probability. It's like having a collection of quantum systems, each prepared in a different pure state, and we only know the probability distribution of these states. Density matrices. The density matrix, or density operator, is the mathematical tool used to describe mixed states. It generalizes the concept of a state vector for pure states to a statistical mixture of states. The density matrix for a mixed state is defined as rho equals k sigma par k k. Here, park are the probabilities associated with each pure state k, and they satisfy the conditions k sigma park equals 1, the probability sum up to 1, and 0 less than or equal to park less than or equal to 1, each probability is between 0 and 1. Properties of density matrices. 
A valid density matrix must satisfy the following properties. It must be Hermitian, rho equals rho. It must have a trace of 1, tr, rho, equals 1. It must be positive semidefinite, greater than or equal to 0 for any state. Physical interpretation. The density matrix encodes all the observable information about a quantum system in a mixed state. The expectation value of an observable in a mixed state is given by A equals TR, A. This formulation ensures that if we don't know which pure state the system is in, we can still calculate the expected outcomes of measurements correctly by averaging over all the possibilities. Evolution of density matrices. The evolution of a density matrix over time is governed by the Lyell-Ville von Neumann equation, which is analogous to the Schrödinger equation for pure states. It ensures that the evolution of mixed states is consistent with the principles of quantum mechanics. In summary, mixed states are a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics for describing systems when we lack complete information or when dealing with entangled systems. Density matrices provide a powerful and general framework for representing these mixed states and for predicting the outcomes of measurements on quantum systems. That was all goodbye.